Hey guys, Tony here from The Enhanced Man. I'm just going to be reacting to Greg Doucette's video about Khloe Kardashian, about her extreme weight loss. Coach Greg, and in today's video, Khloe Kardashian is not healthy at all. Really? Well, I saw the photos. She looked fantastic, incredible. But no, she doesn't look good because she's too thin. She doesn't look healthy. And so Chloe, who has over 200 million followers, posted a photo of her in a bikini and she had a six pack. And so she doesn't look healthy. I mean, after all, she used to be overweight or obese. And so she decided to work out, start posting videos of her training, eat healthy, lose weight. And now she doesn't look healthy. And so is that not fit shaming when someone decides to live a healthier lifestyle and lose weight and is proud of it and then shows you the results of their hard work and the son decides to trash her? Not healthy at all. Khloe Kardashian sparks concern as she shows off very small waist in a pink bikini in you photo. Greg, he's a little off the mark here. He did a video not long ago about Channing Tatum and losing all that fat for that role of Magic Mike, just saying how he didn't want to go through that again, how hard it is to maintain. In that interview, he was being in interviewed by Kelly Clarkson, and Greg was talking about how, yeah, you know, she can appreciate these people trying to lose weight to look good for celebrities and. Uh, how Cle Kelly Clarkson was kind of scorned by Simon Cowell for being a, a bigger woman and then had to lose weight to uh, to have that kind of pop star image. So yeah, he took sympathy on her for that, or both of them. Trust me, I, that might be the reason why I didn't want to do a third one, is because I have to is look like that. And so he's saying that's the problem, having to live up to that standard, to look like that again. Yeah, I did it in Magic Mike 1 and 2, but it's hard, harder than you think. You see the finished product, but you don't know the months of hard work, torture, and dieting that goes into it. So you don't work out regularly all the time? No, but it's it's hard to look like, even if you do work out, to be like, that to be kind that of in kind shape of is, is not, it's not natural. Dude, and so Kelly Clarkson says, well, don't you work out all the time? And he's like, yeah, I work out all the time. You want to look like a Gymshark model. You want to look like Shannon Tatum. And he's not overly muscled. It doesn't look like, oh my goodness, it would be so hard to look like that. Yet it is and he has above average genetics. And now he's going the other direction by telling off people for saying Khloe Kardashian has gone too extreme with her weight loss. Firstly, I'll just make it clear, I'm not a fan of Khloe or Kim or any of these people because my time's just too precious to follow all their kind of shenanigans. Then again, at least she's promoting hard work, not quick trim, which uh, this product was discontinued after it was proven that the only active ingredient was caffeine. We just are so passionate about everything that we put ourselves into, whether it's our diet products, we make sure that we for sure use them. We tried everything, we, you know, and we helped formulate this and make sure that this was something that really worked. We don't just put our name on anything just to have it out there. We really are involved. Look for uh, customers. She looks at all of us and goes right to me and says, hey, have you heard about the Quick Trip? She but I guess that, a big bottle. I was right. re reading the label on that big bottle. There's a lot of just, a lot of berries and good stuff good in there. There's not, you know, for it's sure. not loaded with natural. caffeine or anything. They're all natural. Yeah. And the caffeine it is, it is just green tea or like black licorice extract. It's all natural stuff that gives you energy. Can we look, look at the jittery. physiques? The, yeah. Can we look at the, the bods on these two for I a don't minute? Know, guys. You've got to remember that Instagram has been linked to a lot of depression in young women. So when they see Chloe's extreme extreme weight loss, they feel inadequate. Despite the use of clever lighting, dietitians, personal trainers, and even surgery. Do you think that you are promoting unattainable standards of beauty in any way? No, I don't. Because I think we get up, we do the work, we work out, you know. Everyone says, oh my gosh, she's had her third face transplant. But I've had one nose job, Dr. Raj Kanodia, and everyone gets so upset, like, why don't I talk about it? No one's ever asked me. Is that still the case? Because it infuriates <laughs> me. Do you get up and you do the work? Are you seriously saying that? You get up and you do the work? Talk to the single mother of six kids working at the freaking Walmart who doesn't have time to even freaking brush her hair, let alone go to the gym or go to Soul Cycle or whatever it is that you're doing, or going for your Botox or your butt injections or whatever. How can you say that all of them sitting there with the privileged lives they have and talk about it. it's just we get up and we do the work. I, look, I could just 
I could scream. It is so not realistic. Now back to Greg Doucette's videos. I just felt compelled just to kind of straighten up what he's saying because he's, he's just oversimplifying it here. The reason why people are somewhat alarmed over Chloe's weight loss is because when you're used to seeing someone a certain weight, and then they drastically change, then they assume there's been a lot of suffering that's gone through with that, as Channing Tatum has pointed out. Another one would be Adele. There's a lot of uh, mixed opinions when she lost all that weight. And this might not be the case. Some people, when they're fat, their body's in a kind of equilibrium, status quo, it's happy. Whereas other people, the reason why they're big is because they're snacking on Pizza Hut twice a week and eating kinds of junk food and just having massive portions. You just don't know. Is that their happy medium when they're big? Another thing is Chloe, she's quite clever in what she's doing. She took the most flattering shots with lighting, the shadows, just to make it look even more extreme. I'm sure she knows what she's doing. She can't be that stupid if she posts like an edgy shot and knowing that people are going to be commenting one way or the other. It's just any attention is good. That's the way it's viewed. A bit like the Paul Brothers. Here he is doing a little uh, little run in the morning and uh, with a back that looks, you know, reasonably natural. Here he is from the front in just regular lighting and this looks like a, you know, fit athletic guy, but certainly doesn't look anywhere close to what you see here. And you know, a lot of fucking idiots who don't understand how the fitness industry works would literally see this picture and say he's on steroids and then see this picture and say he's not on steroids and they must be you know significantly far apart timeline wise when obviously it's not the case whatsoever so that's my opinion thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video